To the Ministry of Education, on behalf of all rangatahi, we want to say that enough is enough. The greatest detriment to our future as NZ students is educational disruption. While you battle over pay and conditions, students across the country are being sent home. Yet again, our learning, despite all the rhetoric to the opposite, is happily being used as a pawn for political and union conflict. What kind of message are you teaching us about compromise, about valuing one another and about working together towards a common goal? So tell us how you and other students are feeling at the moment. Um, the general feeling amongst all students is just a bit of frustration. We've kind of had enough, like we say in the letter. And why have you had enough? Oh, it says in there that we've had three years of disruption and this is our fourth and this time there's not going to be reduced passing grades or anything like that. And it's just, we want to be at school, we want to be learning, we want to be doing our assessments so that we have a positive future, we can get into university. And it's just, yeah, it's lasted a little bit too long. What do you feel you're missing out on at the moment? And I mean, you might have some examples from your own study. What are you missing out on and how is it affecting you? I know there are a lot of students who have internal assessments that have had to be dropped altogether just due to the lack of time at school. Um, but in terms of me, just there's not enough time. A, we're trying to learn externals and you can't learn things. It's really, really hard to learn things from home. You can work on things, but learning is the hardest bit without your teachers there. And do you feel stressed about that? Yeah, definitely. Stress is a major thing amongst all students it's something that we've as head students noticed in our school bodies yeah tell me a bit about that what does that look like for for students when they feel stressed i think it almost ends up being a lack of motivation because it all feels like a little bit too much i mean we are most of us are still just kids i guess don't know how to handle stress as a whole so it yeah definitely equates to a bit of a lack of motivation do you reckon you can catch up anna It'll be difficult. It'll, yeah, next term's going to be crazy. If this continues into next term, I don't think we will. And what do you think about the possibility that that could happen if there's not an arrangement um, that the sides come to over the pay and all the rest of it? This could go on into term three. Mm, I just don't think that's something that can happen. That's why we, as a group of student leaders, we wanted to speak out because if that happens, it's, you know, it's not going to be possible to catch up in the time frame. Do you think teachers should get paid more? Yes, definitely. They do so much. They do so much more than just, you know, you're teaching. They're there, they're asking you how you are every day. I get teachers, you're walking past them, they give you a smile and a wave. Like, yeah, they do so much more than just their teaching that I guess is unpaid work. But they're also, their profession is so important. We say that in the letter that it's teachers that almost control the future of New Zealand, you could say, because it's the students who are the next next generation of everything, of leaders of the country. So, yeah, they have one of the most important jobs in the world. Do you think that deadlines for your assessments, that they should be pushed back, that you should be given more time? How do you feel about that? That is definitely something that has helped in the past three years. Um, it would be good, especially if it was to continue into next term. I don't know if that will happen due to the circumstances, but it would help. What about extra credits? Because obviously during COVID, um, there were special arrangements made. Do you think you're getting to the point you might need that because of the strikes? Um, it is something that they would have to start considering very soon. Because, yeah, especially with things like your internal assessments being dropped, that could be four or five credits that are just out the window. I'm curious, how many days have you been in class this week? Only two. <laughs> what? Um, we had year 13 strike on Tuesday and on Thursday, and then today in the week it was a teacher-only day for field days, which was set a while ago. So, yeah, two days in the classroom this week. Are you worried that some people will fail NCEA because they've missed classes? There's definitely some students who will not achieve as well as they possibly could because of these and like the stress I was mentioning earlier, the lack of motivation, that's something that doesn't just come back instantly. It's something that will continue on throughout the year. It's a feeling that's been set so early on. And it, yeah, it'll definitely impact some students. 
So what do you need to happen? What is your message to the people sitting at the table trying to sort it out? We want the strikes to stop. We want the teachers to get paid what they're worth. And we want to be back in the classroom and we want to be learning.